after not writing songs for eight years, you got to shake some rust off. I wrote some pretty, pretty terrible songs at first, <laughs> but then some good ones started to come, and I, my confidence got built up, and uh, I felt like I got a, on a pretty good roll. I was pretty happy with what was happening, and uh, I recorded some demos, real rough demos, and I sent them to John Worcester and Britt Daniel and asked them if they wanted to record these songs with me, and fortunately, they both said yes. He played me the demos, and they were great. And um, he played them for Brit, and Brit was immediately on board also. And um, we never rehearsed, I don't think. No, we didn't. He's incredibly talented. He's got a great voice. He plays really well. Like, he's just, he's, he's one of the good ones, you know? And when you see someone like him that's the real deal, it gives you, like, faith in being a human being, you know? But it wasn't until I heard punk rock that I found my music, music that my parents didn't understand but made sense to me. So as a 10-year-old, I started writing punk rock songs, and I formed a band. Well, I met him when he was this big with that SG guitar. The SG, it looks like an oversized SG, when really he's just a, such a shrimp that like, it, he made the guitar look huge. I watched him play. And he was a great guitar player as a kid. And it totally set my life in this direction, this new direction. It was him. It was Jason. Like, it wasn't Jimmy Page poster I had or the Kiss poster. It was fucking him. Jason's an amazing musician. You know, his sense of time, his sense of moment. Uh, and he's a great writer. And, you know, his voice, I mean, obviously, is, you know, I'm guessing everybody has said this. He has this amazing voice. actually know the songs that well, but we knew each other so well. Like, I've, I've known Brit for, you know, since the mid-90s. But it was the first time we'd ever really played together, but it didn't seem to matter. It's just like, oh, wow, well, I'm finally playing with this guy that is like a guy I went to high school with. It was for sure the fastest I've ever tracked an entire album. It's fun doing a record that, that quickly and that on the fly, because you don't really have time to overthink things. A lot of laughs, a lot of laughter. John is one of the funniest people in the world. Uh, they had this thing where in the middle of a conversation, something, somebody would say something funny and then Jason would say, okay, now say that again and film it. We feel that we're doing too many of your songs. Too many of my songs. Yeah, yeah. And John would act like as though he was doing it for the first time. He's a lifer, you know, the first time. I met him, he was writing and playing music because he was passionately driven to do that as a little kid. And the fact that he's still doing it, it's like, you know, the good ones last, I think.